sick, so we're back to ASMR low energy reactions. Let's begin. We're getting married. Danasama. So what are you wearing? Yo. All black? This is looking real nice. This is a wedding for the dark one. Mao-sama. <laughs> Damn, let's go. This is probably Balirosa's dream, right? Like last episode, all the different girls had a, had like guilt about, you know, shit, we're not paying rent. Let's try to be productive. Everyone had their own different thing going on, whether it be a horse ranch, farming, uh, fucking being a teacher at a school. And then Bali Rosa's at the side thinking, what am I still doing as a need? So I'm sure these guilds are kind of like coming into her dreams that she's realizing that if she gets married to the Dark One, then we can have peace between demons and humans and it'll be so fucking good. <laughs> Maybe not total world domination, how to have peace where we can coexist. Uh oh. Uh oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> Never mind. I thought that this political marriage was gonna help maintain peace. This is just fucking escalating. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Dark one right now, show up. Hmm, people say, I don't know, dreams like this doesn't just randomly happen, man. You must be actually a little bit interested if dreams like this is actually happening. <laughs> this fucking girl don't pay no rent. Everyone else here is so tired after a hard days of work, and all she does is fucking scream at night. Yo, kick this girl out. <laughs> Unseen wall. Okay. Who's cooking? Yo, Balero's uh, behind. <laughs> Love sick? Look at that, look at that, look at that. See, what does it say? Dreams are the very image of our desires. And I guess Balero's desires the dark one. <laughs> Everyone's so interested. Yeah, of course. Right now, Mao-sama thinks Bali Rosa is dead. She, and then he waged a war upon the world, right? He was like, you know, if you're gonna take Bali Rosa from me, then, you know, I'm gonna fucking take everything away. Let's fucking all out attack, right? So, he doesn't even know where we are right now. How do we get back to him? They're very obvious. No, 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 no. When you raise the blade, he got so horny. He was like, oh my god. There exists a woman that would dare defy me like this. Mmm, mmm, this is turning me on. <laughs> in bed, kill you in bed. Yeah, even world peace. Exactly right. You could break down the wall between the species and become friends. Truly, this like political marriage, which might not even be arranged. It could be from like genuine love. It could be the road to like peace in our world. What part? <laughs> Which part of the supreme one? <laughs> Why did she fall in love with Furio? Wasn't it the overwhelming strength? And like, in the Beast Kingdom, might is right. So it's like, oh my god, we're gonna have such strong babies, I love you. Was there a significant event that actually, cause like, he killed her sister, bro. He straight, cause like, think about this. He was so strong that she is willing to overlook the fact that we killed her sis, his her brother, right? Sorry, it's not sister, brother. Like, she's over, willing to overlook the fact that we killed her brother, but we're strong enough. So she's like, it's fine. Totally fine. A softy. So the fact that even though he's so strong, he presents himself so delicately, that that's it? Mm? He is really interested. <laughs> she wants to be soft, guys. Maybe Bali Rosa also wants to be soft. What's coming? Dark one? Dark one's coming? Mao-sama. The reunion.
Don't remember at all. Different currency? It's bad about road coins. What the fuck is this plot? From another world by mistake and then vanished. So we had an Isekai character that showed up. Right? Some Banaza dude showed up. Oh. Oh, that's some episode one shit. That's the weapon as well. That's like ours. That's like us, right? So we brought currency from a different land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Vanished. And the princess is actually so good. Oh my goodness, it's so nice to have an actual person that's so reasonable and nice and kind, not just a fucking douchebag immediately, man. Hmm? How did he get out, bro? What the fuck? Yo, these prison cards are fucking trash. But the hero got out. All right, the Yusha's gonna go on his adventure. Let's see it. Red eyes, demons, demons. Oh no, no, it's these two. I can't believe this girl is still just like gold digging, riding, you know, the shitty hero. But like, what has she seen him? Because like, he's pretty much banished now, right? Well, she's kind of in trouble too together. I don't know, but this duo is very interesting. <laughs> okay, we got a bottomless bag. Sounds OP. You gave yourself a reward? Makes sense to me. You didn't complete your job though. You never even started your job. Is he gonna get stuck in the bottomless bag? What's gonna happen? Okay, it's an actual storage uh, inventory. Mimic. Nothing? No, 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 no. It's looking like maybe this is like a shovel to like, you know, for like where the treasure is, right? Maybe this is like a map? This is a kind of scope? I don't know. This must be some kind of, uh, the next path is the treasure. Wait, did he just dig that hole? How did he... <laughs> what is this? He just used the shovel to dig down that hole so quick. It's just a shovel that's just so good at digging holes. That's his thing now? Digging holes? What, what is he? Where is the plot going with these two? You know what? I think the girl should have this power because she's like a gold digger, you know? At least, you know, we can get the digger part in. How are you getting out? Are they just stuck? Are they stuck forever? Rest of the season, they're just stuck in a hole until someone finds them? <laughs> Alright, Mao-sama. I beg your pardon. Perhaps. Have we been to that place? The other place that we've been? I actually don't know. Either we are so fucking cracked. And like, are you saying wood to Mausama right now? Anyway. Video's teleportation probably surpasses what Mausama kind of assumes. No matter how potent the purification magic is, because that's what's keeping the demons out, of course. Yeah. We can fill the land with Melissium, which I assume is just kind of like, uh, what is that generic name for? Like, miasma. Pretty much it's like miasma, right? It's like dark demon aura that's like poisonous to everyone else. Got it. Meow. I don't think Mao-sama gives a fuck. Frio. He's right, it would be wasted. 
Uh oh, she's gonna get corrected. Head pat, head pat, head pat, head pat. Okay. He was looking a little scary there for a second. Dude! I find no meaning in forced sacrifice. Dude, Mao Sama is so righteous. He is the king. He is the he should be the true ruler of this land. I'm totally fine with Mao Sama taking over the world as long as we can kind of coexist in peace. Eavesdropping. Ooh, we can we have like a sexy secretary librarian kind of type. Alright, is this a succubus? Also, Megane girls don't go like this. Megane guys go like this in the center right away. <laughs> After fucking explaining something that no one asked for. And then Megane girls do like this on the side. They're, they're like, Ch or like Ch on the side. Brother. Oh, Maosama's brother. He must mean a shady person. Yuri Garde and the librarian secretary succubus girl is his attendant. Goodness, these designs. <laughs> Acting, that's what that is. So you can tell already that this guy's a piece of shit, but goddamn, the voice acting there. <laughs> is he gonna keep doing this? Is this just a they're just no shit, the author's not doing this for you know, he's gotta be doing this intentionally, right? He thinks this is pretty funny. Every time he gets mad and stomps, the girl just falls and moans. <laughs> <laughs> she got hit in the head this time. This poor girl, bro. Oh. Okay, she might. Yeah, her voice actor exactly. I think she is second best after you know the fake hero. Holy fuck! What is this running gag? It's so good. Oh, she's got nosebleed. Oh, she gets off. Oh, she gets off on it. She enjoys this. Okay. I mean, he was a little freaky freaky too, but yeah, we got another M over here. <laughs> Look at the fucking nose of me. Uh-oh, we got a uh, infighting going on with the demons. Well, now we have an antagonist. Yes. We have the same identical bottomless bag, huh? Yeah, everyone's coexisting here in peace. Nice. Grandma. Oh no, her business is going out of business. Let's take it over and then help her out and then we can have our own restaurant. Come on. Or just give her money. Just give her money or something. Wait, we have a farm. We have a farm. Can't we, like, be the suppliers? We, we have transport. It's like this character was designed specifically for last episode. She needs fresh fruits and vegetables and, you know, meat. And then she needs transport, right? That's what we're doing with the fucking horses and carriages. It's perfect. What is she gonna ask for next? A fucking magic teacher? I guess we're not gonna help the granny. I thought they would. Baliruza. Yeah? Fenris, start growling. Reese minds. Reese minds. Okay. <laughs> Congrats, your allowance gone up. <laughs> I hope my Hosama appears very soon. I mean, you're just kind of ruining it, but I appreciate the feelings. I mean, fuck it. Just give me the money back. Go away. We're gonna have our little date. <laughs> Do you need to exist? <laughs> Mao-sama? Or Mao-sama brother? Hmm? Mao-sama. Goal. Well, if it isn't... Double date? Double date. Yo.
we having a fucking double date? How did... How, how, how did Hia end up being the fifth wheel? She truly is a cuck queen. She really likes this shit, huh? I mean, that one episode, she was just watching the entire time. And like, just out of fucking nowhere, when Badiroza was supposed to be third wheeling, he just fucking takes that dog. Oh, I am the cuck of this show. <laughs> A proper discussion. Mm. Oh shit, we got the Lisan Al Gaib right over here. The full prescience, all her dreams are coming true. <laughs> He loves human cuisine. Meaning he doesn't want to kill humans, right? I hope not. Demon cooking is trash. Soundproof barrier. Yeah, she can make some sweets for you. Heal. <laughs> 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 He's learning thy enemy. Why did those are getting mad? No, not trample. You know what? He's right. This is actually getting pretty deep. I thought that he was just accepting that, yeah, we're pretty trash, but then it's like, not really. It's like we're being persecuted by de humans. So it's like, why wouldn't we try to like protect ourselves? Both sides are the wrong. Why can't we have peace? The miasma kind of thing, right? Like some kind of demonic aura? Energy? Yeah. So, Furio just needs to have something where all the malicium is either cleansed. Can he just purify it? Wait, people need it to live though, right? Demons magic beasts that can control the malicium and some that can't. I'm sure Furio can do fucking something so everyone can coexist. And it's toxic to humans, yeah. If we just like detoxify that, if we just purify it, the demons will die though, right? They need it to live. Either make everyone be able to control it or get rid of it, but how does that work? Because <laughs> sometimes you pop off really hard. <laughs> we will meet again. Barirosa! Don't let your man leave. Alright. Sunset lighting. Is something important gonna happen? She lying. Man, this whole opening theme with the piano. Yeah, it is the instrumental version of the opening. But he was really thinking about how to coexist. Oh, boing! Don't let the other girl see. See what I say, guys. Anytime sunset lighting happens, something's gotta happen like this, man. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking idiots are still stuck in the hole. What are they gonna do with the hole? What is the purpose of the hole for the story? I don't understand. What, what, what are they doing? Like, how, how will. Oh my goodness, that's what they're doing with the hole. Oh, 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 mm. boing. Boy. <laughs> My man stared at the ass for a little bit too long. He just lost focus. He was like, oh. Oh. Bye bye. This is actually peak how they're handling the fake hero. Like, it's such nonsensical bullshit fun. They just have a magic shovel. They dug themselves a hole. They can't get out of it anymore. What the fuck is going with the plot for these two, bro? And that is today's episode. Today's episode, another peak chilling anime, bro. I can't believe how good this anime is, bro. Every episode, it's just like, it's just straight up delivering just so much fun. I think one of the funniest moments for sure Ah, uh, these two idiots are fun fucking funny, but the shovels too. But the whole, you know, the mouse of my brother and his secretary, every time he gets angry and like, you know, stomps the ground, she falls over and starts moaning. <laughs> he fucking, you know, smacks his chair, wooden chunks go off, hits her in the face, she gets a nosebleed, starts moaning. Like, <laughs> where the fuck is this coming from? But I guess the main antagonist moving forward is gonna be Gozal's brother. And Gozal is trying to recruit Furio because of his crazy purification power. But it looks like the source of the issue 
it's not really humans versus demons, but the fact that Melissium exists, and with that, we can't exist in peace. I'm sure Dana Summer will figure some crazy bullshit power to make it such that either people can live with that Melissium, or everyone can just control it, and the whole shovel plot with these two. No idea where they're going with this, but I am so down to watch them suffer in every episode. And that's it for me. You're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.